Easter Sunday celebrations may be a little different this year. Thanks, of course, to the high cost of eggs. Now that's right. Some are either searching for the cheapest ones or avoiding eggs at all costs. CBS 58's Yukari Nakayama tells us how Wisconsinites are dealing with the egg price spikes this holiday weekend. And we got some candy. Got some candy. When you think of Easter, the classic egg hunt and egg dyeing always comes top of mind. But this year, <laughs> The price of eggs has got some families reconsidering those fun traditions. And are we dying eggs this year? No. Why are we not dying eggs? The cost. Consumers like Jackie Regner are opting for the next best thing. Plastic or paper eggs. We just can't this year. You got to cut back on some stuff and that's what we're cutting back on this year, unfortunately. At local stores, a pack of about 40 plastic eggs costs around a dollar compared to at least two dollars for a dozen real ones. I can tell you Quick Trip has been the best price at $1.99, but they are limiting it at two and I have to buy 20 dozen eggs. Joan Papke is always on the hunt for a deal and tracks her spending in this handy dandy yellow folder. I keep prices from year to year. About 100 years ago, a carton of eggs was about 35 cents here in Wisconsin. And now in present day, the average is about $4 a cart. But specialty eggs could run up to $9. Now experts say that those prices will continue to drop. When folks go to the grocery store, they're going to see egg prices a little bit better than what they saw weeks ago and maybe, you know, what they've been purchasing. Expert Brandon Schultz of the Wisconsin Grocers Association attributes the spike in egg prices on the avian flu and says facilities are now headed back to normal. They have been able to sanitize and bring those production facilities back online, protecting against avian flu, and you start to see production increase. So in the end, Schultz says the price of eggs won't have an extreme impact on this year's Easter. In Milwaukee, Yukari Nakayama, CBS 58 News.